Good morning everyone and welcome to day two of Motivation 38. As the sun is rising and the bodies also rise from the swags, you can smell bacon and eggs cooking on the barbecues. The lines are starting to form at the showers and people are becoming re-energized, ready for another day of fun-filled excitement. You could tell last night that the boys were getting fired up. Skid Row pumping on deep into the night. A couple of the boys from camp even got a chance to play up a little bit. Right, so we've got a couple of the fellas from camp. If you're a long time viewer, you already recognise this fella over here. He's been on camera a couple of times. Simon and Wolf, a couple of cousins. Um, guys, you did a great job on the video where you featured both your cars on Aussie Garage TV. That was uh, probably a new experience for you, especially. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was um, good to talk about and go for a cruise and uh, meet some like-minded people. Yeah, for sure, man. And uh, this is your first time at Motivation, both of you, right, Simon? Yeah, mate, yeah, first time. Awesome, what was your first impressions of yesterday? Uh, what a lineup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty crazy getting in. Um, we thought we'd you know, have plenty of time up our sleeve, but yeah. After we got in and got settled in, it was, yeah, it was good get, getting around and seeing the cars, and yeah, it's good. And there is certainly no shortage of fucking awesome cars out and about. Now, last night, Build up some courage and you end up hitting up Skid Row. You're a little bit nervous to start with, Rubble. Yeah, didn't know if my front brakes going to hold and uh, she's going to kick out sideways, but um, it was a bit more room than what I thought. And uh, yeah, it was awesome. Got me the adrenaline pumping. You did a great job too, and Simon, you were in line just before Wolf and had a crack as well. Yeah, no, good. Same, had the nerves up. You know, just worried about, she looked pretty narrow down there, but you know, once you get in there, it's, all that takes over and you just yeah, up it. Yeah. So, yeah that's good. <laughs> uh, it's pumped, ready to go again. For people who haven't seen, what's just a real quick, uh, brief rundown on the combo? Um, just a 434 small block, uh, turbo 400, nine inch. Um, yeah, she's a pretty stout little donk, but yeah, it's just a, just a fun toy. And it gets plenty of street kilometers, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> not really, but yeah. <laughs> As they do. And what about yourself, mate? Give us a quick rundown. Uh, this car's about 17 years old. My cousin Simon done it here. And uh, just in his shed, it's a 434 Cleveland aftermarket block, CHI 3Vs, 1000 Holly, uh, trans brake C10, race 9 inch, uh, run 10 fours down the strip. And me and Cuz go and beat them up and go cruising and have a great time. Yeah. These two don't have any edge of competitiveness about them. Obviously, they both had to have 434s. They both had to have, you know, trans brake, transes and all the rest of it. And I think now you're, what, running for a nine? Yeah, nine naturally aspirated, hopefully, and then I'll um, put a bit of giggle gas on it. Look at this guy go. Day two coming up, what are you most looking forward to? Um, looking forward to getting back on that on that bloody uh, skid row. <laughs> but yeah, definitely um, just checking out the cars and, and getting a good Good day in, bit more relaxed today. Nice shower this morning, so fresh and ready to hit it. Happy days. Thanks, guys. No worries. Thank, Thank you. you. And day two will not disappoint in that we have super cruising, we have skid row, we have smooth cruising, and a whole bunch more burnouts to get through. That's about enough of the chit chat, so why don't we get stuck into some action?
And in what's truly a staple of the event, motivation, it's the Super Cruise. This is where you can bring any car you like and you can really let them hang. Belt the limiter, smash the tyres, down the strip, go as hard as you want. And then come up the return road and do it again through the snake pit. Enjoy the action. Now this morning, Super Cruise unfortunately resulted in a couple of oil downs which really slowed up the traffic and limited a little bit of the fun and games, but that's all good. While they clean up the track, why don't we jump into the Elite Pavilion and check out some of this year's unveiled cars and see what some of the top quality show cars of Perth have turned out this year. So I've run into Keaton here, who is the proud owner of this HZ1 Tunner. Mate, what an epic car you've built here. Yeah, cheers mate, it's pretty surreal to be honest. Uh, yeah, stoked with the outcome. So you were one of the unveil cars today, and how long has this thing been in the build for? Yeah, it's been about 10 years of love, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> love and broke. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's been awesome. And you're a man after our own heart because what would you say, 90% of this has been done in-house, or has it left the house at all? Uh, so it's only left the house three times. Once to get some of the upholstery done, a tune, and then uh, we wanted to use a spray booth because the shed's dusty as hell after sanding it. So, yeah, we had to take it out for a spray booth, and that's it. Yeah, I can definitely tell how that feels. <laughs> we've, we've, done, we've tried it. It's not great. Yeah, it's definitely not. It's terrible. <laughs> Just give us a quick rundown, man, on the combo. Obviously, a HZ1 tonner, but what sort of drive line are we looking at? Yeah, so it's got a HZ, oh, it's a HZ1 tonner. Um, I'm running an LS1 with the T56, so the, uh, the six-speed manual. Uh, it's just the stock diff in it at the moment. Uh, see how long that likes to play the game. Uh, eventually, I'd like a sheet metal nine-inch, but we'll see what happens. Um, and that's that's about it, yeah. And what was the vision at the start of this build compared to what it turned out like? Is that, has it just been a mad snowball, or, or is this what you wanted from the get-go? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> My key to people would be, or key point to people would be, don't get your mates involved because <laughs> the build just fucking evolves. Originally, it was supposed to be just a quick tidy up, uh, 
308, build a 308, leave the 308 in and, and go from there. But then you get your mates in the ear. Oh, you should take the cab off. Oh, you should fill that in. Oh, you should LS it. Oh, and, and yeah, it just carried on. But, but the end results, for, um, I'm stoked with the end results. So I'm happy I, I did get pushed that little bit. Uh, and the vision, uh, I don't think I could ever dream about having a car like this, to be honest. So it's pretty cool. I mean, imagine if you had it just stuck to your guns, you probably would have been driving it four years ago though, right? <laughs> Definitely, would have, it would have been done. Bit of, bit of bog, bit of paint and happy days. <laughs> What's uh, probably your favourite thing? I know like with, with my car, I've got the, the little bits that I, I'm really pumped on. Yeah. What's your favourite part of like way the cars come out? out, out. Yeah, um, I think the overall result, but uh, to be honest, um, I think I love the fab work, like I'm a mechanic by trade, but getting into the fab work, doing the TIG stuff, uh, my intake piping and the um, breather tanks and radiator overflow, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that, like the clearance and the shit that I got there, pretty cool. Yeah, well you should be proud mate because it's a friggin' epic one tonner, you've done a ripper job, I've already said that, but yeah. I don't think it could be said enough yeah. honestly. But I want to um, thank you for taking the time to have a yarn with me and thank you for being a viewer and supporting the yeah, channel man, easy, I really yeah. do appreciate it. Easy, nah, it's awesome, everybody get behind it, WA boys, let's go. <laughs> Thanks bro, cheers. Cheers man. So I'm here with Steve and his FG XR8 Ute. Welcome to Motivation, mate. Mate, good to see you, mate. Thank you. Tell us what you brought. Uh, 2010 FG Ute. Um, had it since brand new. It used to be my work Ute, so I used to chuck shit in the back of it all the time, <laughs> which is uh, quite annoying. But um, a number of years ago, I thought we'd well, better start doing something with it. So um, got some cams in it, made it a little bit, a little bit more lumpy, and which is really, really nice. But yep. That's as far as it went for a while. So. Until I met you guys last year, so <laughs> had a bit of a chat with you and Kurt, and I thought, right, it's time to get this thing up and ready, so yeah. That's a wild thing that we, we sort of hear the story of people saying that, you know, after watching our content, they get inspired to, to do more. It's something that blows my mind uh, yeah. more and more, you know what I mean? But it's super awesome to see that you get people like yourself getting G'd up to, to do these things. Now, cams in these aren't common, really, is it? Because you've got to buy four of them. Yeah, and it's expensive. And there's a few different types out there, I suppose. So um, I went and saw Terry at uh, BBT Motorsport. Yep. So he's done that, gave it a tune. So it's been running really, really well, actually. It's quite, quite nice. Excellent. And uh, what sort of power improvement did you see? I think it was on the dyno when it finished it was about 390 at the rears, um, but the exhaust was really restrictive. So now it's got a full twin three inch stainless on it. So it'll be around the 400 or so, 410 maybe. Yep, seat dyno says that it's picked up a little bit at least. Yeah. Now you did say before this was your work ute. Now I don't see you putting much in the back of this thing anymore. Uh, never. <laughs> no, no, not with the stuff that's in the back now. So, I mean, I can put something down there if I want to take something and go camping and stuff, but. Uh, it's not 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 for that. So it's pretty impressive, mate. The way that you can on the remote, you've got the motorised um, struts for the hard lid, and that reveals that amazing setup that you got in the back. Um, just give us a quick sort of rundown on, on what your thought process was there, and, and what you're trying to achieve with it. Let people know that you can you can do shit yourself, and that's that's the biggest thing I found from you guys working on your own car. It's like you don't have to go out and spend the big dollars to, to get shit done. So, but the back of the year was thinking about something different rather than just putting a fuel cell on the back or something like that. I wanted to do something different. So the inspiration came from the C10 from the States. So I had a good look around and, and just got a great ideas down and just started building it. So yeah. that's the end result so far. So. That's exactly right. That's the thing that we really do try to get across on camera is our project is, is based on a series of small tasks and if you can tick them off one by one, if you break it up, it does become very achievable, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely, and it saves you a lot of money. So, And, and all it is is just your time. Yeah. Give it a go.
and you get a lot more pride of it out of it at the end. Now this car has a lot of intricate airbrushing um, across it from the, the tailgate all the way into the engine bay. Is that something you did yourself? Done it myself, yes. I, I um, Once again, it was about five or six years ago, I wanted to learn how to airbrush. Uh, airbrush Venturi in Perth. So um, yeah, I just went and learned how to do it and did it myself. Otherwise I'm paying someone God knows how much money. So <laughs> yeah. it's like, uh, you know, it's just my own time and now I'm doing things for some mates as well. So uh, it's good fun. Awesome, Steve. Well, thanks heaps for uh, having a chat with me, mate. I look forward to seeing you out on the Super Cruise Thank and you, have a great time at Motivation. Thanks, Jeff. Cheers, mate. Good on you. Cheers. <laughs>